Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'm one of the authors of Technit.com. Today I'll be talking about how to synchronize or configure time in Linux. The correctness of time in an operating system is very important, especially if it is a log system or server that has to, to do with tracking of various logs and activities at a particular time. Correct timing is essential in this case. If you're also um, in a virtualization environment where you, you have to do with a lot of clustering, you would know that um, time correct timing and time synchronization is very important. I cannot even overemphasize how timing is very important in um financial sector or, or government sector. So correct timing can be done with the use of NTP, NTP, which means Network Transfer Protocol. NTP is a protocol that is used to automatically synchronize time over a network, and NTP is server and client-based, whereby you have NTP servers sitting somewhere as a pool of servers in different zones and regions. And um, for you to um, have your time to be synchronized with NTP servers, you need to configure NTP client on your Linux system. So we're going to look at uh, the step-by-step -step process of how we're going to configure um, NTP client. We're going to be using Crony in this um, tutorial. Prior to this time, um, other distributions and even Red Hat um, usually use the NTPD service for the NTP client, but um, that has been deprecated. Now Crony is used. So we'll look at how to configure and synchronize time with Crony on a Red Hat 7 and 8 system. In some Linux distributions, um, Crony is not installed by default, but in Red Hat 7 and 8 system, Crony is um, installed by default. So I'm using a Red Hat 8 system. So in your case, if Crony is not installed, you will just have to install Crony. If Crony has been installed, the next step is to verify the status of, of the of, of Crony. So you can see that um, Crony is running. If Crony is not running after installation, all you need to do is to make sure that you start the service and if you if you want to enable the service, you can do that as well. And the next step is to verify the current time and the NTP status by using this command. So I can see my current time um, in UTC, and I can also see the time zone, America. And um, I can see that the NTP service is active. In the advent where the NTP service is not active, you need to make sure that it is it is active. And to do that, you need to use the command, you need to use this command, and set NTP to be active. So with this command, if NTP is not active, NTP becomes active. And the next step is to verify if NTP has started by also checking the CronyD service again. You can also do this um, again. You would see that um, NTP has started. So this is another way to check if um, NTP is actually working or not. So to get the um, current time zone, use the command time dctr. this will give you the um, time zones that we have. My time is currently set to, um, my time zone is currently set to America and um, presently I'm in Nigeria, Lagos to be precise. And I'm going to look for um, Africa, Lagos. All right, so this is um, Africa, Lagos. So I can set my time zone to be Africa, Lagos. To do that, I'm going to use the command this command should do that. All 
All right. So now I'm going to verify again. So you can see that my time zone is Africa Lagos. And you can see that I already have the correct time. Presently, it is um, 21.58 UTC here. And now my NTP is also active as well. So which means that my NTP, my, my coding service can of course, or will of course synchronize from the NTP server. So this is how you um, both synchronize and configure time with crony in um, or Linux in a Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. So thank you for watching. Bye for now.